Gunet, software for surveillance of antimicrobial resistance. Laboratory-based surveillance is core to the understanding, tracking, and containment of evolving antimicrobial resistance threats. Antimicrobial resistance is a public health threat which threatens the safety and efficacy of modern healthcare delivery, increasing patient morbidity, mortality, and healthcare costs. The WHONET software, used in over 140 countries, supports laboratory-based surveillance of evolving infectious disease threats with a particular focus on the analysis and interpretation of antimicrobial susceptibility test results from a One Health perspective. The course takes a hands-on approach for the management, analysis, interpretation, and dissemination of results to support clinical decisions, policy development, and the detection and containment of emerging resistance threats. What you'll learn, you'll learn to explain the history, use, and value of WHONET to support local, national, regional, and global antimicrobial resistance surveillance initiatives. You'll gain hands-on experience with WHONET installation, data entry, data analysis, data interpretation, and public health reporting. You'll learn how the WHONET user community, including the WHONET discussion forum and WHONET training center materials, can be useful resources for our user community. Module 1, Introduction to WHONET. This introductory module gives an overview of the vision, use, and core data management features of the WHONET and Backlink software. After exploring the WHONET website, you will download and install the software. Module 2, Laboratory Configuration. You will learn how to configure a new laboratory in WHONET defining your laboratory characteristics, your list of antimicrobial susceptibility tests and test panels, and your human, animal, food, environmental sampling locations. You will also learn how to optimize your list of data fields and isolate alerts. Module 3, Data Entry. You will learn how to enter, edit, and print relevant details of your samples of human, animal, food, or environmental origin, such as identification numbers, dates, sampling location, and sample type. You will also enter microbiology results that include organism identification and antimicrobial susceptibility test results. Module 4, Data Analysis Part 1. You will learn how to perform interactive analysis in WHONET by selecting the analysis type and the microorganisms and data files to analyze. In this module, the focus will be on the percent RIS, including antibiogram preparation and isolate listing analysis. You will learn how to define data subsets of interest using isolate filters, remove repeat isolates, and copy or save results to Excel and other softwares. Module Module 5, Data Analysis Part 2. You will explore additional analysis options, including scatter plots, cross resistance between two agents, resistance profiles, multi drug resistance, isolate alerts, isolates of clinical or public health importance, or results suggestive of possible testing errors, and cluster alerts for detection of possible hospital or community outbreak. You can store analysis parameters in WHONET macros which can be utilized to facilitate repetitive analysis requests over time. Module 6, Data Export to Public Health Networks. You will learn that WHONET reports are combinations of WHONET macros, which facilitates the generation of multi-component output reports in Excel, Access, Word, or DHIS2 formats. You will learn how to use WHONET standard reports provided with the software and how to create your own user-defined reports. Laboratory-based surveillance is core to the understanding, tracking, and containment of evolving antimicrobial resistance threats. This course introduces the use of the free WHONET software for the management of microbiology laboratory data with a particular focus on antimicrobial susceptibility test results with a hands-on approach to learning data management and interpretation skills with a One Health perspective. Antimicrobial resistance is a public health threat which threatens the safety and efficacy of modern healthcare delivery, increasing patient morbidity, mortality, and healthcare costs. The WHONET software, used in over 140 countries, supports laboratory-based surveillance of evolving infectious disease threats with a particular focus on the analysis and interpretation of antimicrobial susceptibility test results 
from a One Health perspective. The course takes a hands-on approach for the management, analysis, interpretation, and dissemination of results to support clinical decisions, policy development, and the detection and containment of emerging resistant threats. By the end of this course, you will understand the history, use, and value of HUNET to support local, national, regional, and global antimicrobial resistant surveillance initiatives. By the end of this course, you will gain hands-on experience with HUNET installation, data entry, data analysis, data interpretation, and public health reporting. You'll also learn about the HUNET user community, including the HUNET discussion forum and HUNET training center. On this slide, you can see the historical time timeline for HUNET from when it began in 1989 to today in 2022. HUNET is a free desktop Windows application for the management and analysis of microbiology laboratory data with a particular focus on antimicrobial resistance surveillance developed and supported by the WHO Collaborating Center for Surveillance of Antimicrobial Resistance at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. You can use this quick reference code if you want to follow with your mobile phone. Training Modules 1. Introduction to HUNET 2. Laboratory Configuration 3. Data Entry 4. Data Analysis Part 1 5. Data Analysis Part 2 6. Public Health Reporting Module 1. Introduction to HUNET Introduction to HUNET has two subsections. Subsection A, Introduction to HUNET, and Subsection B, Download, Installation, and Training. You can use this QR code to go directly to the discussion forum. This site is dedicated to the discussion of the free HUNET software. You can post questions to the HUNET user community, find responses to frequently asked questions, and learn more about the HUNET activities around the world. You can use this quick reference code to be taken directly to the HUNET Training Center. Our team has updated and expanded the HUNET training materials, including tutorials, slide sets, and instructional videos. To access these materials, please use the accordions from the Training Center webpage. Use Chrome, Edge, or Firefox to open up the HUNET Training Center at https colon forward slash forward slash hunet.org forward slash training dot html. We're happy to announce the release of HUNET 2022 this past April. The new software includes the 2022 CLSI and UCAST human and animal breakpoints, as well as epidemiological cutoff values. For more information about the HUNET and backlink features, click the here link for feature details. For a summary of the most important new features of HUNET 2022, click the here link for details. For detailed notes about each HUNET release, click the here link to see details about each release. Either the 32-bit or 64-bit versions should work well for most users. For best compatibility with Microsoft Excel, Word, and Access, we recommend using the version of HUNET, either 32 or 64 bits, which matches your version of Microsoft Office. You can find out which version of Office you have by clicking Office version. Download HUNET 2022 32-bit version if you have the 32-bit version of Office installed. Download HUNET 2022 64-bit version if you have the 64-bit version of Office installed. We offer both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of HUNET. Either version should work well for most users. For best compatibility with Microsoft Excel, Access, Word, we recommend using the version of HUNET which matches your version of Microsoft Office. Use this procedure to determine which version of Microsoft Office you have. Open Microsoft Excel. On the left side menu, click on Account. Click on About Excel. And at the top of the screen, you'll see 32 or 64-bit version. Match your selection to the HUNET download to the number that you see there. Once you've started the download, the download will appear in progress either at the top right or the bottom left corner, depending on which browser you're using. Select Open File to open the HUNET 2022 setup file once it's finished downloading. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes or no? Click Yes. Welcome to the HUNET 2022 Setup Wizard. Select Next. Ready to install HUNET 2022? Click Install to begin the installation. Click Back to review or change any of your installation settings. Click Cancel 
to exit the wizard. The setup wizard will install HuNet 2022 on your computer. Click next to continue or cancel to exit the setup wizard. End user license agreement. Please read the following license agreement carefully. Select the checkbox. I accept the terms in the license agreement and click next when you're ready. Step six, custom setup. Select the way you want features to be installed. Most people are just gonna click next. Installation completed. Select close to close the installer. Open HuNet for the first time from your desktop icon by double clicking the HuNet icon. Open HuNet for the first time from your Windows menu by clicking on the Windows menu and typing in HuNet. Since this is your first time opening HuNet, it's going to ask you to select your laboratory. Select the WHO test laboratory and then click on the Open Laboratory button. From the HUNET home screen, the laboratory opens to the main menu option. You'll see at the top left corner, File, Data Entry, Data Analysis, and Help. Select File to see the drop-down menu options. Select Data Entry to see the drop-down menu for Data Entry. Select Data Analysis to view the Data Analysis drop-down menu. Select Help. To see the help menu, select help, then documentation to view the HUNET user's manual. Here you can see a screen grab of the HUNET user manual. It's a PDF file that's broken into the same six modules as this training course. To check for HUNET updates, select help, check for updates. To update HUNET, click on the link that's labeled click here to download HUNET. And in the bottom left corner, you're going to see the green progress bar going from left to right. Okay, and once it reaches 100%, you're going to click the install the update button. And from here, you're going to install the latest stable release by clicking the install button. If you click on the help option, you'll see the drop down menu and the last option there is about. Click on the about button. And from the help about window, you can see things like the build date at the bottom right corner, 2022-10-17, the build number, 2022-10-17, uh, and the bit version. Mine happens to be 64-bit. Yours could be 32. Thank you for watching Module 1. Up next, Module 2, Laboratory Configuration.